If you follow the trail of wise, it's always happiness. Literally everything you do, I want good grades, I want to be good, I want a good job, I want a wife, I want to get married, I want kids, um, whatever it is, if you follow the trail of wise, it's always to be happy. Okay, this is the ultimate goal. Um, this is what drives us 24 seven. Like this is it, this is the only drive that we have, it's to be happy. Okay, now by happiness, and this is important to understand, I'm not talking about the emotion of feeling happy. Because if you think about feeling happy, what is it really? It's this temporary escape or relief from pain. That's it. Here, what do we assume? I'm unhappy unless. And then we try to find ways to feel happy. It's usually this escape from our default that is unhappiness, or so we think. And uh, we call that happiness. Every time we succeed in escaping, we call that happiness. If you go to a movie, like most common answer, like what makes you happy? Going to a movie, watching a cool TV show, uh, eating food, um, sex, masturbation, drugs, drinks, smoking. It's an escape. And you're like, that's when I'm happy. But it's not true happiness. Why? Because it's temporary and you don't fix the cause. The underlying problem is still there. The fact that you assume that unhappiness is your default. So what I'm talking about here, and this is the goal, it's a continuous state of feeling happy where there is no anxiety. It, it's basically your default is now happiness. There's no anxiety, there's no stress, there's no anger, there's no negative emotions. It's a continuous state where you're just always fucking good. Like that's your foundation. That's what we're seeking. And none of us are currently finding it. The fact that you need to do something to be happy is reinforcing the assumption that you're not enough to be happy right now. You don't deserve it. It's not your default. And as long as it's not your default, you are fucked. No matter what you do, you are fucked. You can get a bigger purpose, you can get more things, you can get more girls, you can get more validation, you are fucked. So it's getting back to that assumption, getting back to that false assumption that's wrong, where your default is unhappiness. Why not assume the opposite? Who says your default is unhappiness? Why isn't your default happiness? We're all born whole, born happy, and somewhere along the way, we assume the opposite, and we live our lives based on this false assumption, and until we re-examine it, until we snap out of this paradigm, we are fucked. This here, funny enough, is why we're seeking this state. It's because it is our default. That's the only reason we're seeking it, okay? Why? Because it's our fucking basic nature. It's not about the thing, it's about the place it's coming from. Are you doing it to seek completion? Are you doing it to be happy? Are you doing it to fill that void? Are you doing it to escape yourself? Or are you doing it coming from a place of abundance, where it's no longer compulsive? That's the key. It's not the thing, it's the place it's coming from. You can be motivated by abundance. You can be motivated by feeling happy, by feeling complete. You don't need the scarcity. Like, let's just say, you had everything of the world, you were the god of the world, would you be happy? If the answer is no, why do you keep fucking seeking it? The journey isn't to get somewhere, the journey is to realize you're already there. You can't find something out there that is in here. It's like, if you're trying to seek what you already have, you're never gonna fucking find it. You know, it's like, our default is happy, we tell ourselves we're not happy, and we try to seek it out there. But no matter what you seek, as I said, it's in the paradigm of I'm not happy, it's reinforcing I'm not happy. What you're looking for comes before that. This here doesn't affect the fact that you can go out and get all these cool things. Like it doesn't affect, for example, passion, purpose, success, etc. Like that whole list I said before, being grateful, being giving, uh, you know, being successful, making money, getting girls, getting in a relationship, having your fucking grandkids. Totally fine to go do that, but it shouldn't be coming from that compulsive place. When does it end? Never. Compulsive. I must always be improving, I must always be improving. No, the key is realizing everyone's fucking up here, but you're telling yourself you're down here.